The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem, at the Sheep Gate, a pool called in Hebrew Bethsaid, Bethesda, with five porticos. In this lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. And when Jesus saw him lying there, and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. And Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, the man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. And they asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was. For Jesus had slipped away, since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin any more so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on the Sabbath. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear friends, in our spiritual life, you know, it is also important to see the value of the manner of our seeing. The way we see matters a lot in our spiritual life. Mahalaga po iyon kung ano yung nangingibabaw sa ating mga mata. Because spiritual life also involves seeing. Kaya it's a way of, of assessing our manner of seeing. Ano bang nangingibabaw sa aking mga paningin? Ano bang nangingibabaw sa aking mga mata? In today's gospel, we see this, the healing of, a, of, of this lame person for 38 years. Kung titignan ho natin, lahat sila nabulag. Ito yung eksena ng pagkabulag. Yung eksena sa sitwasyon, hindi po nalalayo dito sa atin. Parang tayo po dito sa loob ng simbahan. By the way, marami pa pong pwesto dito sa gilid. Pwede po natin silang dalhin dito. May mga upuan pa po sa gilid ng basilika. Pag makikita natin dito sa eksenang ito, sabi ko nga po, hindi nalalayo sa eksena dito sa loob ng basilika, lalong-lalo na tuwing linggo. Punong-puno po, siksikan. And you will see, Nasabi ko nga kanina, ito yung kwento ng pagkabulag. Pagkabulag ng mga taong nasa loob ng simbahan at pagkabulag mismo ng taong gumaling. Nabulag sapagkat hindi nila nakita yung, yung, yung mystery, yung miracle, your wonder unfolding before their eyes. And sometimes we are guilty of this one. That sometimes at the end of the day, we fail to see the miracle, the wonder unfolding before our very eyes. Simply because we are so much, we are too much preoccupied with a lot of things. Preoccupied with useless anxieties. Preoccupied with expectations. Or even too much preoccupied with, with legalism, with idealism. Then at the end of the day, we say, oh, we miss to see the miracle unfolding before my eyes. Parang ako yan minsan eh. I have to admit, tuwing linggo, I am guilty of this also. 
nabubulag ako sa sa miracles, simple miracles that have occurred among the faithful. Minsan kasi paglinggo, punong-puno, syempre ginagawa namin mga pari, nagbibindisyon kami. We bless the religious articles, we bless the cars. Not only for a few minutes, sometimes we do it for more than two hours or one hour. And I'm so guilty with this because sometimes what reveals in my eyes is yung pagod. Oh, napapagod ako. Sometimes at this time, summer time, nangyibabaw sa akin yung ang init. That at the end of my day, after doing the blessing of the religious articles and the car blessing, what comes out into my mouth is, I'm so tired. Oh, ang init. I fail to see miracles happening in front of the people around. I fail to see happiness, the joy of the faithful when they receive the holy water. And that's exactly what happened in today's gospel. Imagine, the ill person has been there for 38 years. Kitang-kita nila na nandun, naka-naghihintay, 38 years. Tila bagang nakikita nila every day. Unfortunately, when that ill person was healed, anong nakita nila? They failed to see the miracle. Mas nakita pa nila yung, yung pagbitbit niya ng mat. Bakit mo ginawa yan? Bawal yan ah. They failed to see the miracle happening, unfolding. And same thing with what happened to the person, to the ill person. He failed as well to see the person who helped him. Kaya it is a time for us to assess in our spiritual life, what really prevailed in our way of seeing? Ano ba yung nangingibabaw sa ating mata? It's between blessing versus disgrace. Blessing or God's grace versus our human weaknesses. Ano ba yung nangingibabaw sa ating mga mata? Yung kahinaan ba ng kapwa o yung kabutihan ng Diyos sa kapwa? Ano nga ba nangingibabaw sa ating pananalita? Yung negativities, yung kasalanan ng, ng nagagawa ng ating mahal sa buhay o yung ng mga tao? O yung grasya ng Diyos, yung awa ng Diyos na ipinagkaloob sa kanila? Again, as I have said, in our spiritual life, seeing matters a lot. Ano nga ba yung nangingibabaw sa ating relasyon sa Diyos in our prayer life? Pang pangangailangan lang ba o yung mismong relasyon natin sa Diyos? You know, we have to be mindful or careful that our spiritual life may end up to be a kind of shopping spirituality. You know what they mean by shopping spirituality? Yung tipong naaalala mo lang ang Diyos dahil lang sa mga pangangailangan mo. Nagdadasal ka lang dahil may pangangailangan ka. At kapag wala ka ng pangangailangan, Wala na. You know, in our, in our spiritual life, Jesus also seeks for our heart, for that personal encounter, personal relationship. Ibig sabihin, mangingibabaw sa ating mga mata ang Diyos kaysa sa mga pangangailangan. It's about the eye of value na sana ang mangingibabaw sa ating mga mata our values than human weaknesses, than human sinfulness. Blessings, gracia ng Diyos. Kaya minsan, natutuwa ako habang nagbibindisyon, kahit pagod na pagod na. But the moment I see the reaction of people around, receiving the holy water, feeling the presence of God in that simple act of blessing the religious articles, that would mean a lot in our spiritual life. Sana po, katulad ng ating Ibanghelyo, at the end of the story, once more, that person has given a chance to meet Jesus. And finally, nakita niya ang Diyos. At nakita niya, 
that marks a beginning in his life. And the statement of Jesus so important that after seeing Jesus, after that personal encounter with the Lord, after that miracle that we experience, hopefully we all also begin with a new life, a life that is more, that is something more charitable, more meaningful, and something that is so close to the life of Jesus.